somebody cell phone. <laughs> was covered in blood. It was on the side of the road at Bear Creek Park. We believe that she's been held against the wheel. We believe that she, hopefully by God's grace, is still alive. So now they're saying all they, they they just want the footage of who she got in the car with. Like, who is this uh, club protecting? Because from what I'm understanding, the club is not giving up the footage. This is from what I, I, I don't know this. I'm saying, look, from what I'm hearing and from what I've found out through my re research, it sounds like the club is not cooperating. The club is not giving up the footage and the cops are not going to pursue the footage either. It sounds like the cops ain't even went up there to get the footage or put no pressure on them about the foot about the footage. So to me, it sounded like there's some people working together. This is just our first instinct. It sounds like some people are working together and somebody might be in somebody's back pocket. That's just what I'm getting. It sounds like somebody might be in somebody's back, po back pocket somewhere. Allegedly. That they clearly have footage of who the, who the guy was and what he was driving. They could get the license plate. They can get everything right now. Like, and whoever this gentleman is, why hasn't he come forward? Like, if you gave her a ride home and you know they've been looking for, her, if you didn't do nothing, what you? So where are you at? So he says yesterday law enforcement did go out to retrieve the footage. Said they're finally taking the, the bloody cell phone and processing that finally. Like it sounds like they ain't been taking it serious. her father I believe he drove all the way from Cali out here uh, to even be here you know what I'm saying but 
it sounded like something went something went on, and it, it's not looking good. It, it's not looking good. He says this is the fourth case like this he has dealt with in six months. And HPD has to start taking these things more serious. What it's sounding like is uh, uh, it's a lot. Let, let me just call it what it is. It's a lot of sex trafficking going on in Houston, allegedly. And they're doing it out of these nightclubs. Who, 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 who's familiar with this? I don't want to. I don't want people saying I'm sitting here capping or whatever. It's all alleged. It, it's alleged. But who is familiar with, with with this out of Houston? Anybody from the Houston area, Dallas area? I know. I know my. I know my Dallas people. Y'all know what's up. Because. Uh, Dallas as well, you know what I'm saying? Dallas and Houston as well, you know what I'm saying? Keep keep it a buck, you know what I'm saying? San Antonio, where, wherever, wherever. Austin, all that. Texas is, yeah. If you know, you know. You know what I'm talking about? Let me read some comments. Let me, uh, let me, read, let me read a few comments real quick. Let me see. Are you telling the truth? I'm in Houston. So. Especially Fort Worth, yeah, yeah, I forgot about Fort Worth, but you know, DFW, same, same thing. DFW is is a uh, treacherous. DFW, <laughs> DFW is treacherous. Keep it a buck. But uh, if you from the if you from the DFW area, you know about it. If you from the Houston area, you know about it. So what I'm saying is not, <clears throat> it's not cap. All black women gone missing. I mean, you got to understand about there's a reality to what I'm trying to tell y'all tonight. There's a lot of trafficking going on in a lot of these cases. And I don't think people really pay the, I don't really think people pay attention to their surroundings. Like I, I be really trying to give y'all some game at the end of my shows, but we going to, we, we definitely going to chop it up tonight. We going to, we going to chop it up. She must have told somebody she wasn't from there. Hill, it probably was the person. I mean, it, it, the most obvious person is it, it, never the most obvious person. But, I mean, it, it, it just obviously looks like whoever took her home probably probably realized she wasn't from there. And I don't know. That's how it's, that's how it's looking. <laughs> I don't know where my baby is, but what 
He just said he don't know what's going on, what's being done to her. You can barely hear him at this point, but he's basically he's basically just saying he don't know what's going on with his baby. He don't know where she is, what's being done to her, whatever, whatever. But they're they're at the location of the last place she was at. But I mean. Where is this story coming from about the Uber driver? Like, I- I'm trying to figure out where this story is coming from because I'm just trying to understand is somebody creating a narrative or or because the, the video evidence should back this up. If she was getting an Uber and if she was pursued by somebody outside waiting on the Uber, however it took place, it, everything should be right there on, on, the, on the tape. So she should be outside waiting for her Uber and somebody should ask her if she needs a ride and, and they get into a vehicle and the vehicle is seen on if it, this is what I'm thinking in my head it should be copy and paste it should be easy you should be able to go get the it should be just as easy as hey let me get this footage show me what she was doing here here okay 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 whatever whatever you should be able to see was she drug out of there or what, did she you know what I'm saying whatever whatever you just you just don't know release the footage and I have to be honest with you well, they just started being off when they heard the Oklahoma press conference. They would not cooperate with us for the family. What they also don't know is when we sit in the investigator, this man and his wife, they were speaking and he was part of the conversation. And we have them on tape saying that we were not going to give her a job between the five black girls. We don't have black girls though. So, she already walked into a place that didn't get nothing for her. And then I put a reference to be here. And so I. They're saying Cover Girls Nightclub didn't even want her presence to be there. So it sounded like they feel like the club had something against her anyway. And I'm trying to figure out why she was even at this club because it sounded like she was auditioning and, and they basically told her no. And I'm going to be real with y'all. That's hard to do it in, in Houston, Dallas. I, I don't. I, I haven't really seen too many girls get turned away from a club. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm, that's not normal. So if anybody in Texas, you can say uh, you agree with that or not, but it's kind of hard to get turned away from a nightclub in, in Houston or Dallas. This is so. This is so sad. Facts. Are we back to money, Maya? They're trying to make it seem like they don't like black girls there. They known for turning black. They said they're known for turning black girls away at their club. <clears throat> she came auditioning. Yeah, I knew she was there to audition, but they turned her. They they, they turned her away and like um, she was outside waiting for a damn Uber. It seemed like it was that bad. Like damn, <clears throat> like what the hell happened in there? Hey, what the fuck really happened in that damn club? Cause don't go where you're not wanted. You have to have a certain look to work there. Heard the club was racist allegedly. Is there an advertisement that they were auditioning? If her phone was found nearby, then it happened at the club. So she wasn't clubbing with no fruit. That's what I'm trying to figure out because it sounds. From what I, that's the, that's why I said, are they trying to create a narrative? Because I was told she was there with four of the girls. So why the hell was she outside waiting on an Uber if she was there with four of the girls? I, it, it, the story already don't make sense because what happened to the four friends? Why nobody talking about the four friends? Because I heard about there was four girls. Salute to NBA Wall Street. Uh, and s- salute to Chill Will. Y'all showing out tonight. I appreciate both of y'all. Salute, salute, salute. Yes, I seen that post, but I heard they do hire blacks. I heard they, I heard there was four of the girls there with her. That's what I'm saying. Like, where the hell were those girls at? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure those girls were the same color as her. So, exactly, Ratchet. Like where everybody else said. I'm just trying to make sense of this while we watching this. 
you know me, I like to piece it together and make it make sense. It said the owner don't hire black women, but I heard the black girls work there. So I, I don't know. I, I, I'm just going to say I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Just keep it a bug. I mean, my, I'm, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you, bro. I don't know what's going on. She damn sure had the look. She she was an attractive female. I, I or is an attractive female. Um, I I don't know why she got turned away. Or it seemed like um, I I don't see what was wrong with her. She she seemed like she had a nice body, nice face. I don't know. <clears throat> so maybe she felt uncomfortable. They turned her away because they wanted her for trafficking. Mm. I don't see why, based on what I heard on that tape, I feel the lies that they don't give a damn what happened to that system. But we do. And this is very good right here. This is traffic, I've been saying. Said this very woman.